what's up foodies thank you so much for all the love you guys give me i really 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 appreciate that i also want to wish everyone a very happy new year happy new year to you and your family may this new year bring you lots of joy and a very good health now for today's recipe what we're going to be doing is uh, i'm actually going to be making a request for a very good family friend of ours um so shwetadi here is a recipe for you um we're gonna be making achari chicken. Um, hey guys, I uh, also want to give a shout out to Shweta Di. Uh, she actually owns an Indian clothing store. Um, on uh, She has a Facebook page and it's an online store that she owns. So if you guys are in market for uh, buying Indian clothes, please check her out. Her, uh, her Facebook page is Shweta Vyas Bharadwaj and I'll also um, add a link to it um, in the description. So please show her some love, show her some support. Shwetadi, here is the recipe for you. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do to make some achari chicken is we're going to make a masala. So for making masala, what we're going to do is we're going to dry roast uh, some, of the, some of the spices. So I'm using about, uh, about five dried chilies. With that, I have some salt, some coriander seed, um, I have some methi seed, um, I have some jeera, which is cumin seed. Um, and I also have some kalonji that I've added in there. Um, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to dry roast this um, on a medium to high heat. We're going to dry roast it for about uh, about three to four minutes or until the, um, until the spices become aromatic. So as soon as the spices become aromatic, um, we're going to go out and take this off or we're just uh, going to go ahead and um, uh, saute this for about uh, dry roast this for about three minutes or so. All right, guys, so after dry roasting and letting it uh, cool off a little bit, what I did is I made a masala like this. Uh, it's this finely uh, grinded masala out of the spices that we had made. Um, now, what we're going to do with it is um, I have my chicken here. I have a bone-in chicken. Um, I'm using half a chicken. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to marinate this chicken. So we're going to marinate it with uh, whisk yogurt. So I have about two big spoon of yogurt that I've mixed in a, in a separate bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that yogurt. With that, I'm gonna use about uh, one spoon of ginger paste, <clears throat> about one spoon of garlic paste. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add a little bit of haldi with haldi i'm gonna go ahead and add salt to taste so just a little bit of salt and then we're gonna add about one spoon of kashmiri chili now after adding all of that the last thing we're gonna do it's the masala that we made we're gonna add about um, good I would say good 70% of the masala that we ma uh, made. We're gonna go ahead and add that masala in here for marination. And we're gonna give this a good mix and let it rest for one hour. Now, if you are cooking in hurry and if you can't wait for an hour, what you can do is go ahead and give it a good mix, let it sit in freezer for about 15 minutes and it will help you with uh, getting your chicken marinated a little quicker. All right guys, so it's been about an hour or so since I've been letting my chicken marinate. Now what we're going to do, um, it's uh, again, as you know, I'm a one pan guy. So in the same pan that we were uh, uh, sauteing or dry roasting the, the spices, uh, what we're going to do, I have about uh, two big spoon of ghee in here. Um, so this recipe is very similar to kadai chicken. A lot of people use uh, um, oil with it. The oil doesn't give you the same taste of it. So um, I like using ghee in the recipe um, or butter you can use oil if you want to now i have my ghee that's a little warmed up what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one bay leaf in there with bay leaf i'm going to go ahead and add just a tiny bit of rye and also just a tiny bit of jeera now with rye and jeera what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and add some chilies that's roughly chopped i am adding just a little bit of uh, garlic paste and 
just a little bit of ginger paste. Now we're gonna go ahead and saute this very quick. We're gonna saute it until we lose the aroma of, uh, or the rawness of ginger and garlic. All right guys, so our um, our ginger garlic paste is cooked. Now at this point, what we're gonna do, is I have about one big onion that's finely chopped. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions in there and we're gonna saute the onions until it becomes brown. Um, so we're gonna um, go ahead and give it a good saute and then we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients to it. All right guys, now at this point what we're gonna do is I have about three tomatoes that's finely chopped. I'm gonna go ahead and add some finely chopped tomatoes. We are gonna go ahead and cook them until the tomatoes are cooked about 90%. Um, again, if you remember the trick I showed you to cook them faster, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some salt to it just to speed up the process. Salt to taste. Remember we had added salt in the chicken so you want to make sure that you don't add too much salt to it. Alright guys, so our tomatoes are done. At this point what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put our gas to medium heat. And by having it on medium, after having it on medium heat, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add all of our marinated chicken in there. And once we add the marinated chicken in there, and again as you can see I am using the bone in chicken. Um, I'm going to use all the masala that's, uh, that we used for the marination. Um, once we add the chicken in there, we're going to go ahead and cook it, for, cook the chicken for about one to two minutes until you see the outside of the chicken, it's not raw anymore. Alright guys, so as you can see, uh, my chicken is cooked from outside. Now at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some of the spices. Uh, so for the color of the for the color of the chicken, uh, we are going to go ahead and add some Kashmiri chili to it, and also the remaining of the masala that we had, we're gonna go ahead and add that masala in there. So again, I'm using Kashmiri chili uh, just to color off it. It's not spicy whatsoever. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my remaining of the masala that we kept on the side. And after adding that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mix it and uh, cook for about another minute or so. And uh, after that, we're going to go ahead and uh, slow cook the chicken. All right, guys. So um, now at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some water to it. And we're going to slow cook it uh, for about 10 to 15 minutes or until your chicken gets completely cooked. Now for the water that I'm adding, what I'm doing is uh, I'm using the same water that I used to marinate or the same ball that I used to marinate the chicken. I'm adding some water in there so that way I can maximize all the chicken juices and also all the spices that was left behind. Now after adding that, we're going to lower the heat. Uh, we're going to give it a good mix. And after giving it a good mix, we're going to let this cook. Um, we're gonna let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes after covering this. So what we're gonna do is giving it a good mix. Now at this point I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up and then let it slow cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Alright guys, so it's been about 15 minutes and as you can see my chicken is done as well. Um, now at this point what I'm gonna do is uh, the last thing we need to do Add some ginger juliennes to it. Uh, taste your chicken. Uh, the yogurt I used, uh, it was a little bit sour. If it's not sour, go. Uh, if the yogurt you're using, it's not sour, then go ahead and add a little bit of lime. What I like to do is when I uh, when I make a chari chicken, I usually serve it with the lime on the side as well so people can add the lime to their own taste. Uh, now, as you can see, the chicken is completely done uh, and at this point all you need to do is just go out and serve the chicken uh, just the way it is. Alright guys, so as you know the food is ready. Shweta Ban, here is the recipe for you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Guys, keep on liking, sharing, subscribing. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. Again, the food is ready. Not waiting on you. Until next time, have a great day.